Another quick update on the Shabnosky liver removal case. Um, the, the, the surgeon that we're focusing this case on is Dr. Shabnosky. Um, his first name is Thomas. He lives over in the Destin, Okaloosa, Walton County area, and he practices generally in that in those counties. We know that he was affiliated, I don't, I don't think he is affiliated anymore, with various hospitals in that area of the Panhandle. And we have noticed over the last week or so that uh, his, both his Google page has been somewhat altered, scrubbed. Uh, there's been a lot of the negative comments from patients taken off or the negative comments from people taken off. Um, if you're a patient that left a negative review for Dr. Shevnosky at some point and you don't see it up there, I would encourage you if you are a legitimate patient and you did have a legitimate uh, complaint about his medical performance in your care and treatment, I would encourage you to re comment or put the comment back up there because it appears that those have been scrubbed. The other thing that we noticed that changed was, as you all know, when I first spoke to you about Dr. Shabnosky a couple of weeks ago now, we pointed out that we found on the Department of Health's website an indication that he had settled a case for a wrong site surgery involving the pancreas and the adrenal glands or mistaking the part of the pancreas for an adrenal gland. And we noticed this morning that the Department of Health's website had been changed. We don't know who did it, but it seems weird that it changed. Um, and what I mean by that is there's a part of the Department of Health website. If you First of all, you go to his licensing information, right? And it's got his, his address, his address, his certifications, blah, blah. And then you go down to the end of that listing for him on the Department of Health's website, and it's got liability claims exceeding $100,000 within the last 10 years. Well, when we looked two weeks ago, it, was, it listed a settlement in 2023, and when you clicked in on that, you could find out what kind of settlement it was, and that's where we got the pancreas versus adrenal gland issue. T today, we noticed that that was missing from his listing, and a lot of you have asked, how in the world are you supposed to know about these doctors if they have claims in their history, if they are, if they potentially had a wrong site surgery in their, in their past? The only way that you could even scrape the surface, at least in Florida, right, is, is this web page. And when it was missing today, we reached out to the Department of Health and said, why is it missing? And to their credit, they said it shouldn't be missing, and they went back today and they added it back on to the website so now it's back on the settlement for four hundred thousand dollars that was entered into on august the six it looks like settlement date august the 6 2024 but the incident date was would have been may of 2023 according to the website um, that is now back on the department of health's website so now it's there for people to see but I don't think it's a coincidence that this Google stuff is being scrubbed and this all of a sudden disappeared. I think there must be some effort on his part or on his behalf to maybe do some damage control uh, PR-wise for, for this thing, hoping he's going to, I guess, come out of this somehow and be practicing medicine without this stuff following him around. Um, I, I'd point out that the... Department of Health requires by law, Florida Statute 456-449 says that they have a duty and they shall report these claims accurately on the Department of Health website. So it's a legal requirement. And so I'm thankful the Department of Health went back today and added that, that 2023 settlement, uh, actually a 2024 settlement for a 2023 case back on their website. So I just wanted to point that out. I think it's really important that this Google thing uh, uh, be addressed. So if you are a patient of his and you had a legitimate medical issue with the services he provided and you had a legitimate complaint on Google review, 
and it's now missing because we know that those have changed since we first looked at it. We would encourage you to go back and leave those reviews like they were. Um, I'm not sure how Google can take off a legitimate review. They shouldn't be able to do that. They certainly, we have a couple of, of legitimate bad reviews and they don't, they don't come off. So I'm not sure if they were illegitimate or if he claimed they were illegitimate and they weren't illegitimate. So uh, I know from just hearing the calls from you all that are patients of his in other cases that there are a lot of people out there who were Dr. Shabnowski's patients who weren't necessarily ecstatic about the way things went when they were under his care and treatment. So I would encourage you to go back and do that. Um, well, obviously, we're still working on the on the case. We're still starting the pre-suit part of the case. We'll keep you posted on it as we go. And I'm also going to keep an eye on this because obviously this is a, of public interest, right? The, the only way you as a member of the public is going to know about this particular doctor and this issue and his past issues it is the internet. You're certainly not going to get flagged by the hospital personnel. You're certainly not going to get flagged by him. And oh, by the way, I need to tell you this. You know, this happened to me. Blah, blah. So we're going to make sure this stuff exists on the internet. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about Dr. Shavnosky, you can find us on the web at zarzalaw.com or you can always call us at 855 Hire Joe. Thanks.